What's up, everyone? It's Tech Trooper 64 and today is September 8th, 2015. And today, before I go over what we're going to be talking about today, I would just like to say, um, starting this year, it will be the ninth anniversary of the PlayStation 3's launch. This is actually relating to the article I'm about to talk to you guys about. It's actually coming from the website called GamingBolt.com, and it's completely about... Um, some developers giving their own insight about the cell processor and how uh, it was such a bottleneck on the PlayStation 3. Now, the reason why I'm saying that the PlayStation 3 came out nine years ago is that it's incredible that even after nine years that the PlayStation 3 has been on the market, devs are still criticizing the cell processor for being a terrible bottleneck to the PlayStation 3. Now, I'm not saying it was a terrible bottleneck, but I'm saying, like, it didn't do that bad. Like, when you think about the games like L The Last of Us, Uncharted, the entire series of Uncharted, um, games like Heavy Rain, games like Beyond Two Souls, why do you think PlayStation always received those games, or PlayStation 3 to be exact? Why do you think they always received those games? It's because, yeah, they were developed by first-party Sony Studios, which they knew how to... They spent more time with the cell architecture, so maybe they had more insight on it. But it's still... it's It was still crappy to third-party developers, is what I'm saying. So, without further ado, let's just read what developers had to say. These are all tweets that I'm not sure if they've been removed ever since I checked them last, but I'm pretty sure they're still on Twitter. You can still check them out if you want to. But I will leave the link in the description below for the article. You can read it yourself. But here we go. Uh, the PS3 cell processing unit is said by a few developers is quoted, I'm pretty sure the cell architecture retarded the industry significantly. Complexity in all the wrong places. So I don't know where, where Stefan uh, Boberg is from. Uh, I don't know what what studio he's from. Uh, I'm still trying to read where he is from. Which okay, yeah, he's the engineer of Frostbite Engine. Uh, so he said that on Twitter. It was pretty weird. Well, not weird, but just the way the use of the word retarded. Like I've been called out in real life for using that word, and it's not the right word to use. I think he could have used a better word. Uh, because saying that pretty much like it insults like i'm not gonna get into it but all i'm saying is that he could have used a better word uh leonard Ref ritter who was the who was no who's working on the game nowhere and he had his own opinions on it saying this i always was a fan of the cell as an idea the marketing left much to be desired now that's actually true the cell architecture needed so much more it could have been so much more if it was utilized right, and if Sony gave more time to third parties to actually adapt to the cell architecture. Why do you think, like, in the late two, uh, 2010s, we, we got at least decent PlayStation 3 ports? Yeah, they were still crappier than the Xbox 360 ports, but they were at least decent. It's because third parties now realize how the cell worked, and it was getting less and less complicated per PlayStation 3 development kit. Uh, a third developer, which... I know this guy from uh, the Oculus Rift uh, development team called Tom Forsyth. Uh, marketing was marketing. It was an idiotic idea, and it totally deserved what it got. So he is also not a big fan of the cell architecture. Now, again, I'm going to reiterate that the cell architecture was a bottleneck for at the beginning for the PlayStation 3, but still, it was, it was still a good engine nonetheless it was very powerful just very hard to program for now there was one more nicholas lundberg who which i think he's also working on the oculus i could be wrong but there was a fake playstation 4 specs leak and he was po poking fun at it that it was also going to include the cell architecture so it's it's still pretty funny all this but it's like the cell wasn't that bad. Just think about like games like The Last of Us. I'll say it again: Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain, all that stuff would not be possible without the cell. I think anyway. Anyway, that's all my opinion. What do you guys think in the comments down below? Let me know. I'm actually curious what you think about this. It's been a while since we talked about the cell, but it's interesting. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.